Hey, I didn't see you over there. How's it going? Yeah, this is the, the haul from the Goodwill bins and I finally went to, yeah. Give me a second, let me put it down, let's chat. All right, all right. How is everyone doing today? The lights behind me that usually that are hanging, they went out the other night while I was sleeping and I woke up in the dark and I was really confused. You know, you're not here to hear about my personal life. That's what my other channel's for. You should go subscribe to that. But anyway, hi everybody. Welcome back to Out of the Box Thrift on YouTube. My name is Ren. I'm a part-time reseller for a couple of years now. And I'm here to show you the Goodwill Bins haul from my first ever Goodwill Bins trip. I finally got a chance to go to the Goodwill Bins, okay? And let me just tell you what an experience. There's The last video that I uploaded was the experience of it, um, the vlog where I'm going through the bins, you know, when my GoPro dies in the middle of it all, of course. So all that good stuff of the actual experience at the bins, but here today I'm just showing you um, a nice little haul of the things that I, I purchased. And suddenly it's like hot in here, which is weird because it's always freezing in here. If you watched my goals for a 2022 video, one of the things that I talked about was that I wanted to incorporate more hard goods, um, even though I do have a large, large focus on like clothing and accessories, but you know, I'm doing my best to expand. Um, so you are going to see a little bit of both throughout this haul. Um, let's get going. So I did end up going to two different Goodwill outlets in one weekend. They're all far from me. I feel like I could have stayed so much longer, but I was strapped for time. Again, another disclaimer, a lot of things that I picked up were 100% risks because the price, cost of goods was low. I have a lot of research to do and learning to do as a reseller in general. I am a part-time reseller, so there's a lot for me to learn still. So a lot of this is totally risky. So you can let me know in the comments if I made a mistake picking something up, if something is worth more than I even think it is, you know, all that good information. All right, let's like finally jump in because I feel like I'm dragging ass. So the first item I got, this excited me so much because I saw something like this on Instagram like the couple days before and I just got so stoked because I thought it was so cool. It is this dope ass like quilt inspired jacket. I don't know, there's no like, like literally no tags in it. Um, it seems like high quality. I would have no idea if it's vintage because there's no tags in it. Um, but I think it's awesome. I checked to make sure there's no flaws. So I'm definitely probably going to keep this at least for a while. Because it's freaking cool. The shirt, it's kind of an inside joke. I'm going to DIY it and um, wear it to a festival. So that's for personal use. These are a pair of kids Under Armour baseball pants. Um, also took a risk, but they are in pretty good condition. There's a little bit of staining on like the knees and the, and the buttocks. Otherwise, they are in really good condition. There's no like rips. There's like no pilling really at all. Um, and it's Under Armour. I looked up some comps and like a youth small, a youth small. I just figured like 10, 15 bucks for these depending on who's, who's a looking. Um, these, I feel like it was kind of a mistake to grab them, but uh, they fit me. So if anything, I could keep them. They're like a... A faux leather like a motorcycle type glove but they're like a, the thin insulate ones where it's like insulated in there oh they do have a brand it's this this faunus phones whatever however you pronounce that brand a lot of this stuff I also bought because I'm like it was like it's probably like one ounce like this tie and so it's gonna cost literally like five cents to purchase so why not take the risk um this is like not branded it kind of looks literally homemade but i liked it because it's just kind of unique it's like a halloween tie and if anything i can use it for an instagram look like i've been playing with style a lot lately and so i'm like if anything i can throw together a little halloween look next year or this year and and if it doesn't sell it doesn't sell and i i've used it you know I also grabbed a couple other ties, totally having no idea what they go for. This one is Givenchy, Givenchy, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, um, but it's Givenchy, it's like pretty basic style, it also doesn't have like the logo, so I was hoping, I'm like, hopefully this is not a, like a dupe, like a fake, a fake Givenchy, um, but there's that, took the risk on that, because again, probably cost like 50 cents if that this one I thought was cool too because it's a Led Zeppelin tie from and it says here um, Led Zeppelin 1995 there's literally so much in here this I just threw in last minute I don't think it's worth literally anything but again especially with like my Instagram shop and stuff a lot of the stuff that is successful for me is like cheaper stuff 
but that's trendy. So I got this MTV top. It's like the tag. It's like the MTV. These I just grabbed because they were brand new with the tags still from Spirit Halloween. They're like these fun high socks. Um, I, if I listed them around Halloween, I might be able to get more, but I'll probably list them sooner and just do like brand new costume socks. Um, they retail for $6.99 if I even get like three bucks for them on like Facebook Marketplace local pickup. Don't no fees, you know a lot of this stuff I feel like is those kind of buffer items, but I'm totally okay with that um, Right now the way that my business model works. It's a lot in volume rather than like high quality pieces but this one I picked up because This beautiful little sweater moment. It is from Jones, New York collection cashmere and then I made sure with this tag here that it was 100% cashmere. I knew it would be a high quality piece. I recently sourced a scarf from the same company uh, or the same brand that was also 100% cashmere and I just feel like that's a, a good um, thing to look out for is cashmere. For some reason I've had luck selling like university swag from just like all over where I went where my sister went like random stuff that like my friends have given me uh, for free so I grabbed the Central Michigan like super cozy sweater it has like the sporty detailing um, on the bottom of the sleeves um, it's like from no ran it's just from like a random brand super cozy um, really soft material on the inside so I was like screw it why not some fans of certain things I feel like are very like diehard and not even just diehard but like loyal I guess but anyway I grabbed this Tom and Jerry top um, again just like the last piece that was the MTV it's like a Tom and Jerry specific logo so I don't know exactly what that means where it came from but you know it's super light probably cost me 50 cents super easy This I got for personal use to go with that blue shirt that I showed you. Um, it's going to be an accessory for a festival outfit for me at some point, um, probably in May. And if you want to see all those adventures, subscribe to my other YouTube channel. These I took a chance on because they were actually in pretty good condition. They're men's champion compression shorts. The little tag in there is not too like rubbed off or whatever. This I know nothing about. Um, this brand, it's C.E. Schmidt Workwear, um, but it did seem like high quality, this material, and there's like no flaws on it at all. So whether someone needs to use it as like an actual work workwear top, um, so like construction or something, I don't really know. Um, it's high quality, otherwise it's nice because it's just a button down, sturdy, all that good stuff. This I grabbed just because I was like, if it doesn't sell, I could wear it. Um, it's this Urban Outfitters like mini skirt. Super cute, really trendy. There is a little bit of flaws down here at like the hem. You can see where it's kind of like coming apart there. Young girls like to shop secondhand for that kind of stuff. It's a size large, which definitely doesn't seem like a size large. But again, for the Instagram shop, I feel like that's a great, a great little pickup. This I just grabbed on a whim because it's also the Jones New York uh, brand. So I would imagine if they have quality in some parts of their brand, they have quality in all of them. That could be a total lie. Um, but I also thought it was a cool like little like 90s like Y2K button down moment with like the collar and everything. Um, again, this matches like the Instagram shop like vibe of the like kind of vintage sort of like throwback looks that a lot of people are like shopping their print Pinterest boards for. It's also this like pinstripe detailing if you can see that on camera. I feel like camo items generally sell well. Um, I don't exactly know what I'm basing that off of but a lot of the YouTubers that I watch that are resellers I feel like often talk about camo stuff. Honestly the resale value for the specific brand didn't say much but I feel like so of course my memory card filled up as soon as I started recording, just like has happened at the bands. <sighs> it's okay, I'm like halfway through the haul about, about. This I thought I would grab just because, especially with the When We Were Young Festival happening soon in Vegas, this band is performing there. And for the first time in a long time, uh, Dance Gavin Dance, it's a good size, it's a good style with like the tie-dye, it's like not anything too crazy. I feel like definitely could be something someone's looking for. It is a size large, and I feel like band tees you usually can't go wrong, especially with the ones that aren't like 
too mass produced like the Rolling Stones or like ACDC, do you know what I mean? So yeah, I grabbed this one. If you can't tell, love me a good fun sweater moment. So I grabbed this one because it just, it caught my eye immediately. I don't know anything about the brand, but I thought it was wonderful with like the high collar mock neck there, um, the sleeve detailing. It's hard to probably tell the texture, but it's like, incredible and the brand is cabin creek it's 100 percent cotton in a size large i really forgot i got a lot of the stuff this one <laughs> i guess i was doing a lot of personal shopping but so as i said i go to festivals a lot i was also a dancer my whole life but i grabbed this dance costume hoping that it would fit me it has like purple and black sequin detailing i was like I could probably make a festival look out of this. I feel like I just need like super like knee high boots or something because it's like a sh it's like shorts. And honestly, hopefully it fits me. Otherwise, I can always like redonate it. Probably costs like a dollar fifty, two dollars because it is kind of heavy with all the sequins and stuff. Let's do some of the hard goods. This I also <laughs> grabbed mostly because I have one of these. Um, but there's a um, there's a festival that I go to called Electric Forest and there's this thing called the Giving Tree and people like leave little gifts there so you can like leave something and take something. Um, and these things are like super fun. You like let them roll up your arm. Um, this I took a chance on. I'm definitely gonna watch her. It is Disney's Babies, authentic from Disneyland, Disney World. It has like the tag, you know, it's important. Lady and the Tramp. This, okay, I just grabbed because I kind of talked myself into it. It's this vintage omelet maker it has like two different recipes on the bottom closes up the only thing about this was that i looked it up on ebay and there's quite a few sold but also quite a few listed and i mean not a lot in this green color there's a lot of ones listed for like yellow so i'm like i don't know if that makes this one more unique i took a risk I mean, they don't sell for a ton, but I was like, if anything, again, a Facebook marketplace local sale where I don't have to pay for shipping, even like a garage sale, like I'll figure something out to at least make my money back. I could get like two bucks for this. Grabbed an iPhone cord wire. Hopefully it works. Literally probably cost five cents. Um, This thing I also took a risk on, but it looked like there was some pretty good sold comps. It's this Sabrent, um, like quadruple USB charger thing i'm doing a really bad job of explaining this i don't know how i'm gonna list it on ebay i'll probably find one that's like sell similar you know take the risk this i feel like this might just be one of those one-off things that like someone is looking for i don't think anyone's looking for these but i thought it was kind of funny they're penis cookie cutters <laughs> Um, they're from 2003, Pure Romance, um, I don't know if you've heard of Pure Romance, I didn't even know they'd been along for that long, been around for that long, but it's a fun little, like, bachelorette party type of stupid thing. This one I also took a chance on, but I, I just couldn't go wrong, because those, you guys, the prices are ridiculous. Like, I was like, oh, like, 169 a pound, like, it's kind of, not expensive, but I was like, oh, I've seen videos where people, it's like less. But this stuff is light, so honestly, it's fine. This is probably not even a pound. Um, it's an AM, FM cassette player and um, radio, AM, FM, radio, stereo thing. It's a little beat up, but I mean, it comes with a cassette in it. I, it takes AA batteries, so I'm going to test it. Hopefully it works. These boots, um, kind of a risk because they're huge and they would kind of be annoying to ship. They're not too heavy, but they're just, like, big. Um, I also don't know if the size is the best, but they I've had luck with selling men's boots like this in the past. Um, there's a thin silhouette insulation. Um, they are a with leather upper. They're USA size 10, which, I don't know, is that, like, average for men? I don't know. But, I mean, like I said, they're in great condition. They, they beat the bend test. There's nothing, like, nothing's, like, breaking out here. So I thought, why not? this Eddie Bauer outdoor gear bag. Um, again, very light. I feel like I don't know what the value is in this, if anything, but I made sure like there's, it's in wonderful condition. I feel like I've seen so many backpacks that are like the straps are ripping off or the pockets are ripping out or the zipper's broken. I tested every zipper of every nook and cranny. Everything is solid and it's, all the adjustable pieces work. Like it's, it's a pretty solid backpack. So, I mean, honestly, I'm sure someone will find this and be happy to find this um, online. So at this first location, um, it was 
99 cents for like hard goods per pound and 169 for textiles per pound. Um, so I ended up spending 316 for the hard goods and 21.97 with the the soft goods, the textiles for a total of 26.64. I would say that's a really good deal because if I sell even that backpack for $26.64, I've made back my money from that entire thrift trip. So, excited about that. Um, the second thrift store that I stopped at was at a different location um, in a different state. It was in Indiana, and this one, it was just pay by the pound flat. It didn't separate like textiles and hard goods or anything like that. So I, it was $139 per pound, and I paid a total of $9.22 after taxes. Here's what I got with that haul. I grabbed this guy just because it was brand new. It's probably not worth anything, um, but just because it was brand new. It's a Walmart brand. Um holiday time whatever the only thing i was thinking of is that because it's brand new especially once the holidays come by someone will probably buy this facebook marketplace with local pickup no fees no shipping three dollars five dollars um that's like the ideal sale is like facebook marketplace because i can do things so low because i don't have the fees you know what i mean um otherwise i can recar ebay it up um i took a risk with this one if anything, I can always redonate it. Um, it's kind of in shabby shape. And I was looking up the brand. The brand seemed to seems to do pretty well, but this one also didn't have a lid. There's a lot to consider with this. It's just this nice, like, quart pot um, by the brand The Pioneer Woman. Um, I just kind of thought because of the color and, like, the vintage feel that maybe it'd be worth something. The only thing is that there is a lot of flaws, as you can see. It's not in perfect condition, and, like I said, there's no lid. Also, on that, like, Christmas feel, I grabbed these four brand new sets of ornaments. There's ten in each, so I'm going to lot them all together. Um, maybe sell it for five bucks for 40 ornaments, something, like, super simple like that. They're all new in the box. They're shatterproof, little sparkly-ass... Uh, snowflakes so they're cute this I just picked up because the other day I was watching um who was it I think it was Rachel Strickland and she had like an Elmo that she was selling I just thought it was funny this one's in pretty good condition it's tiny but I mean if people are buying Elmo I'm gonna buy some Elmo we are almost finished with this haul this I grabbed um, I don't know what the heck it's worth I just thought it was cool and um, it feels vintage it's a Jack Daniels um, genuine leather belt with like completely 100% adjustable um, lots of different um, hole options there totally took a risk but they were like flawless jeans um, the brand is Vervet Los Angeles 100% cotton so it's like denim but there's a size 30 they're in beautiful distressed condition honestly that's the pretty much the reason I got them because I feel like if anything and someone just looking for like a nice little distressed jean moment the brand shouldn't matter it's tony hawk the brand um but i thought it was just a nice little button-up shirt again literally no flaws it's black with like these purplish blue like undertones i don't know if that shows up well on camera but like with the with like the almost pinstripe design there's like these colorful undertones some tony hawk stuff sells i just couldn't find a comp for like this shirt i could always turn this into like a festival outfit this little Shein freaking whatever, like two one shoulder top. Um, again, for the Instagram shop, someone might snag this if they're looking for something in particular like that. This one was risky, but I mostly got it because it was like unique and weird and like someone's probably looking for this. But it's this <laughs> clown purse. It's a pretty decent size, like, you know, bigger than my head. My laptop would fit into it. Um, it's got a nice strap size. Some There's a little, like, inside pocket. It's like the canvas material. It almost feels like something out of, like, the 90s. Whoo! Thank you everyone for tuning in and being as excited with me about my first bins journey as I was. Um, literally, this was so fun and so addicting and I can see why people do this all the time. And I definitely am going to go back at some point, hopefully soon, probably when it's not snowing like crazy all around here. Um, but seriously, thank you so much for your viewership. I tried to keep it as short and sweet as possible. Not very good at that, but, um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. So make sure you click that button down below if you enjoyed what you saw. Um, keep curating a style that's unique to you and I'll see you later.